Okay welcome to class everyone. Please take your seat so we can begin, Boo's history. Medieval period. The first clear evidence of distillation comes from Greek alchemists working in Alexandria in the 1st century AD. Distilled water has been known since at least 200 AD, when Alexander of Aphrodisias described the process. Middle Eastern scientists used distillation extensively in their alchemical experiments, the most notable of whom were the Persian Jabir ibn Hayyan, Geber, the Arab Al-Kindi, al kindus and the other Persian scientists Muhammad ibn Zakaria al-Razi, raises. Geber is acknowledged to be the father of the science of chemistry. He established the principle of classifying substances by their properties and invented equipment and techniques for isolating them. His technical innovations included the alembic still, whose principles still govern the production of alcoholic spirits. As an alchemist, Razi is known for his study of sulfuric acid and for his discovery of ethanol and its refinement used in medicine. He became chief physician of Ray and Baghdad hospitals. Razi invented what today is known as rubbing alcohol. Distillation in China could have begun during the Eastern Han Dynasty, during the 1st and 2nd centuries, but the earliest archaeological evidence found so far indicates that widespread distillation of alcohol began sometime during the Jin or Southern Song dynasties. The first dated and certain evidence of the distillation of alcohol comes from the school of Salerno in the 12th century. Fractional distillation was developed by Taddeo Alderati in the 13th century. In 1500, German alchemist Hieronymus Braunschweig published Liber the Art Destillandi, the book of the art of distillation, the first book solely dedicated to the subject of distillation, followed in 1512 by a much expanded version. In 1651, John French published The Art of Distillation the first major English compendium of practice, though it has been claimed that much of it derives from Braunschweig's work. This includes diagrams showing an industrial rather than bench scale of the operation. Names like life water have continued to be the inspiration for the names of several types of beverages, like Gaelic whiskey, French eau de vie and possibly vodka. Also, the Scandinavian aquavit spirit gets its name from the Latin phrase aqua vitae. At times in places of poor public sanitation, such as medieval Europe, the consumption of alcoholic drinks was a way of avoiding waterborne diseases such as cholera, small beer and faux wine, in particular were used for this purpose. Although alcohol kills bacteria, its low concentration in these beverages would have had only a limited effect. More important was that the boiling of water, required for the brewing of beer, and the growth of yeast, required for fermentation of beer and wine, would kill dangerous microorganisms. The alcohol content of these beverages allowed them to be stored for months or years in simple wood or clay containers without spoiling. For this reason, they were commonly kept aboard sailing vessels as an important, or even the sole, source of hydration for the crew, especially during the long voyages of the early modern period. That is it for this class, I'll see you next time to further your education in Boo's history. Peace out. Click on the buttons for additional lessons in Boo's history. Or click here to return to the main screen.